Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial of Zotero Part 6, Shared Libraries. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create, join, and use Zotero groups. Zotero groups provide a way to share collections, work closely with colleagues, keep track of conversations in your field, and follow what others are working on. There are two ways to create Zotero groups. The first way is by clicking on the New Library icon and choosing New Group. You will then log into your account. The second way involves going to Zotero.org and logging into your Zotero account. Click on the Groups tab and then select Create a New Group. Now enter a name for your new group. There are multiple privacy options depending on the needs of the group. Private groups allow members to collaborate without a public Zotero listing. Only group members and invited users can see this page. This group type is perfect for class projects. Public groups with closed memberships are useful for creating a controlled group environment with a public presence. This group is helpful for creating reading lists. Public groups with open membership are helpful for crowdsourcing resources. Once the group is created, you can add members in the member settings by clicking on Send More Invitations at the bottom of the page. In this video, you learn how to utilize Zotero groups. For additional help with Zotero, attend one of the library workshops by looking for class offerings at library.gmu.edu slash workshops. Thank you for watching this video. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.